Hello everybody! Welcome back to A Hat in Time. Last time we played the beginning part and got to see the in, uh, got to see the little hat girl fall from space, disgruntled of all things, um, and see her start her adventure on her journey to get home. This time, we we'll just go right in with our five percent completion. And notice that Mafia Town is beckoning us. Oh yeah, we also made a best friend in uh, Mustache Girl. What do you have to say? Now you're a killing machine. Let's go get them. All right then. So plenty happened last episode, including uh, meeting uh, Mafia Town residents. But you know, plenty good happened, such as meeting our new friend here. So. I say we just get right on into it and see what Mafia Town has in store for us. And you can see here we are we have a new level with a timepiece detected down with the Mafia. Chapter is Mafia Town. Population let one less soon. <laughs> Dang. Mission is to take down the Mafia. Perspiration. The sky seems to be perspirating. What an interesting scene laid out before us. Here we have that kid in her little coat. Adorable as ever. Now, it seems pretty easy to say that uh, our main objective is currently right in front of us. But at the same time, my brain wanted to. Okay. Wrong key. That was the wrong key. My brain wanted to do a bit of. A bit of Spoopy space alien exploring. Let's see what's over here. Blooming idiots. I love that. <laughs> Please tell me that's a sticker. I want it. Yeah. Oh, if we look all the way up there. Last uh, last episode and our mission. Oh, oh no. Um. When we scared the bejesus out of someone. Masquerading as a space... As a... Spoopy space alien. We got all the way up here. Once again. Absolutely adore how she is... Trotting around like a little zombie. With our horrifying no, no face... We have a rift token. This becomes useful once we're actually able to talk about it. That being said, we have an interesting situation in front of us. Uh, hip. yeah. Here we have a token. It looks spooky. A spooky token that we can't do anything with because we haven't gotten that far yet. At this point, it's just us exploring a little bit. Because I know what is currently ahead of us, objective wise. I'm not saying I don't, I don't like it, but uh, I, just, I just want the excuse to explore a bit. Have a little graffiti. Have a little. I uh, have an enemy here a sleeping raccoon. Tanuki. Either works, probably. His main ability of hurting us <laughs> involves uh, him scooting slowly to where we to where we are, and then basically ground pounding us. 
But we could just subvert them by stomping on them. Let's just go over yonder. And all muddied up into this cannon. That fires us topside. Look, I'm spoopy. Fear me. Fear me. Fear me. All right. Let's just take care of him the normal way. Good job, kid. I have a net. Do I have a name? You never think about these things. Exploring got us someplace. That is another rift token. Don't mind the little mud zombie. Mud zombie. Don't mind the little mud zombie. Ooh. Money. I have an odd feeling I'm supposed to... Plus it, aren't I? Just to, yeah, there we go. Go away. Please. I can't fight with that logic. I, uh, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. That joke was not worth it. Let's do it anyway. Let's go inside Mafia. I don't know what this would be called, honestly. <laughs> Somehow we've have, we've have gotten clean of our mud, and we see rack and we see uh, mustache girls ahead of us. There's the theater. It's funny because the A is way off. All right, deal me in. I have money, deal me in. Come on. Dang it. She, she, she's too cute for her own good. Oh, can I actually be dealt in here? Small child hit gambling problem. It's her own fault. This roulette table's purely for looks. What? How dare you? You filled my little heart with hope. I was hoping to lose all my money here. You should leave. This no place for little girl. Most places not for child. But it's He makes a good point. <laughs> well, let's say I'd say we take a look around this interesting establishment. Here we have a cigar and a plate of I think that's a pork chop. I think those are mushrooms. Those are peas. That might be beets. Those are tomatoes. On a pork chop, that's a little weird. And, uh, potatoes. Alright. This guy over here eating spaghetti. Over here to the gambling corner, clearly ignoring the, uh, the weird glitchy guy. Hold on. He threw a can. He broke to me. Don't you know, little girls are, 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 are little girls are, are the most, the most aggressive. Don't mess with them. Darn. Well, it appears a uh, little hacker cannot gamble away her college fund. It, whatever that is. I imagine little little space alien girl does not know what a college fund is. That is my head cannon, and I choose to keep it that way. Here we have a squid who is way past his prime. Here we have rafters. They're full of rats. 
That's that actually hurt. Okay. Can I homing attack? Oop. I can. Shoe rats. Don't bother me. I'm busy. Oh, and they're plague infested. Oh, that makes it worse. Here is a cat. The mafia are terrible at cooking, but fear not. Cooking cat is here. I prepare the actual dinner up here and swap the food before anybody eats the mafia's cooking. I'm fairly certain someone would die if they ate the mafia prepared food. All right, we now know the secret of this place. Also, surprisingly, Mafia is terrible at cooking. Let's confront the very obvious elephant in the room. Hi there, young one. I am from a far away land. I've seen every corner of the earth, and now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You may call me the badge seller, for I sell and trade badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat. If you have money, of course. Alright, here we have a merchant who doesn't look weird as crap. He's selling to us a badge pin, a magnet badge, and a hoover badge. I'd say just because it's of great value. Let's buy a badge pin. We can now put another thing on our hat. And, while we're at it, I like not having to go that far to gather my items. And we're a little bit short. Well, since I'm here, I may as well take this time to explain badges. They are badges. Enough said. Nah, I'm kidding. Uh, badges are a sort of power-up, as he's explained, in this game. Where we're able to uh, attach them to our hat, no matter which one, and have it affect us in certain ways. So, in case of... Uh, this camera badge we can press Q and go into a developer's camera mode which probably is a great way for me to get screenshots that I really should be using it looks nice in fact and it actually works as a screenshot taker all right You can see, you can change the things, such as field of view, to get close-up shots, field of depth, to uh, customize the background, focus, if you want to change what you're focusing on, so you want to focus on the background more than the foreground, yada yada. Change the color palette, have a filter. They're pretty interesting. I really love the fact that it is this hashtag no filter. You can change her expressions even. <laughs> and, alright. They really go out their way. Bet. That's adorable. And, uh, as for the other badge we have, Magnet Badge is pretty self-explanatory. Oh, uh, back, there we go. I see we don't need the Camera Badge for a while or a good minute. But, what we could do in the meantime... See about... Getting a few more dollars. Uh, um, uh, is, uh, here, 
Yeah, here's good. We need exactly two more. Perfect. Uh, let's ignore the main plot for just a second and get that final badge that the seller is selling. Ignore the cigar and the guy who's currently looking sad. Have you come to make another purchase? I have. The Hoover badge. Perfect. We bought out his entire stock. As for the hover badge, uh, that one is explained. It, it explained itself. Uh, whenever we're gonna hit a depthifying jump of sorts, it will activate and uh, prematurely open up our umbrella to save our to save our skins. Oh, yeah. They have a nice bathroom. Fortunately, I can't see myself. Hey, there's a chest in here. What have you known? In men's bathrooms, there are chests. Well, from the looks of it, this guy is having a hard time. I feel for him, but you know what? Sometimes you just, just gotta do. Here we have two separate bathrooms. One for Mafia, and the other one for also Mafia. This game's adorable. But, ooh, ooh, we have a dilemma. And as someone who likes to solve problems, dilemmas are good. So, we've been up here already, but we're going back for a particular reason. This person right here has, uh, buckets of crabs. Did not expect to be carrying buckets of crabs today. So what we're gonna do, take this little bucket of crabs and watch her waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle. And just, uh, just, uh, oop. There we go. But if you know, we are the, we, uh, never mind. I was about to say, we're the equivalent of weight of a bucket of crabs. But maybe it's just how much weight is required to press it down. We're going to avoid getting that. Why? I like to run. And I want to see what else is here. Like this. Troubling you, little girl. Mafia not know what child bring. Whatever problem is, Mafia sure you can deal with it. You look like tenacious type, not leave problem alone. Other little girl run into kitchen if you are looking for her. She look like unruly type. Keep eye on her. What a very nice type. What a very nice talk. Let's go into the kitchen finally. You can see. You can see how cute uh, Hat Girl is because uh, her ha uh, her badges are just stickered on anywhere she can find. Here we have foliage growing in the trash can. This kitchen is truly, truly a mess. And in fact, probably gone a mess amongst a mess. Things are on, things are off. This appears to be a mafia's excuse for food. It certainly does doesn't smell like it though. You, you you could probably taste some, but you're not sure that's something you want. In, you're not sh you're not sure if that's something you want in your obituary. True point. True point. Uh, yeesh. Let's go. Uh, let's talk the mustache. Go ahead, kid. Open this thing up, and I'll keep guard here. All right. Oh, she knows basically. We should probably have the thing by now. Let's go and grab that key finally. Uh, there we go. Here we have a key. This acts as a weapon. I mean, in defense, if you had a key this big, I'm sure you, could, you probably could use it as a weapon. Let's 
go in yonder and put the key in the hole. We have a meat locker. Yeah, we could definitely see the hat kid is uh is uh freezing cold. Let's inspect this fish. You resist the urge to think of any fish puns. Though <laughs> it's tough, hello. But you manage to hold them back. Mmm. <laughs> I hate her, but I love her, but I hate her, but I love her. <laughs> I am appalled and disgusted at her fish pun. Once again, just, I can't stay mad at her. Let's just, uh, go into the crawling position. And end up... In, uh, money hoarding? I feel like I've seen these gems before. So much so, I'm pretty sure an Activision. Insomniac? Someone's getting sued. But if I see a purple dragon around here, uh, I'm gonna be happy. You guys are not gonna say anything? The fact that I'm in here? Alright. Well, we found our, uh, our objective. And I gotta say, I'm impressed by the dazzling golden gem. Oh, God, we're, we're boxed in. Let's do what we do best. Homing attack. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. Anything in here? Nothing in here. Alright then. Let's just ignore these guys, grab all these things. Get more health if we needed it. Oh wait, there was something in there. Mm -hmm. More? There's not more. Oh wait, look. There's a one. Money. I love it. So it is you! Ever since you landed in Mafia Town, it's been raining with these magical hourglasses. You must be very lost, Kid Mickey Hat. You're in the heart of our town, standing before the most powerful man you will ever witness. Everything you've ever owned belongs to me now. Including this hourglass piece. If you want it, We'll have to settle it in true mafia style. Why are you just like a cook? But why are your min minions' food so bad? Right. Action! It is showtime! Oh dear. I'd like to firstly state off your weapon is something weird I've never seen in my life before. Oh dear. Oh god. Uh. Dodge the platforms. Super charge. Oh gee. Oh god. So here's our boss. We have to hit him whenever he's blue. We've already been past a couple phases already, including his charging phase, and now we're currently going up against his uh, his shockwave phase, whatever that means. The core mechanics of uh, any any boss fight is whenever you see him turn blue, that's your best time to strike. I get your and oh no, mustache girl! Oh jeez. I am not jumping high enough. Are we super mad? Mafia ball! He has made a giant Pac-Man out of his minions. All we have to do is go in the crevice and... 
Yeah, hit him. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ultra charge. Okay, now we gotta deal with Mega Charge. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. Worked out all right. Thank goodness for homing attacks. I'm not doing much commentating on this, but this is requiring a good amount of my focus. There we go. Ultra charge. We gotta jump. We gotta, we gotta do a face. I have found a sweet spot. Well, that was an ordeal. With that, the mafia boss is finito. Uh, let's get our prize of our timepiece. There are four timepieces richer now. Yes. Yes, they are. A little detail I have actually not noticed on uh, these timepieces. If you look closely at them, you can see that uh, her hat is actually on the building structure of the hourglass. Are they some sort of wreck? Wait. Huh? We also get to see how powerful these things are. Whoa! What? Well, did um, did you know about this? This is. Crazy! Do you even realize what could be done with these? Also, let it be known, these things can't be destroyed. Because they just resets time after it's done. We can make it so that you never got punched in the face by the Mafia that one time. We could beat up the Mafia, travel back in time, and then beat them up again! No, wait. Uh, we can make it so the Mafia never arrived on the island! Wait, wait, wait! Even better! We could be crime fighting time! Wait, what? This doesn't make any sense. As much as I'm sure she wants to, she, I'm not going to say has a better moral compass, but I'm pretty sure she just wants to go home. But she can't really convey to anyone, so... You Tough. have all this power, and you're not going to use it to fight evil? If you're not going to use them to fight evil, then I will. I'm not going to let this island remain as Mafia Town. I'll collect all the timepieces for myself. You have my word on it. <laughs> Mustache girls pickpocketed half your pawns. It's a good thing I spent most, if not all of them, on the merchant. She broke the scale! And we're now enemies. Well, 
what an ordeal. But luckily enough, something else has opened up to us. We like a new area of the ship. The machine room. And unlock the new chapter. Battle of the Birds. Keep the new dance. I want to check on something real quick, though, because, uh... As we can see here, a lot of things are happening right now. And we have plenty of things going on right now. It should be mentioned, I'm pretty sure we can't finish everything here, or I guess more so we shouldn't, because there's some things that can't be done. Here we have a time rift. Hmm, well actually. You know what, I think I will go into this one. For two reasons. One, to do this, well, we can't do it in order at this point, but we can at least do this. A time rift. That's good enough. It's the easiest spot where it's at. And even better, we can go into this episode and not have to worry about anything but doing the main objective. Which we're not even going to be doing. We're just going to be going into the time rift. So, for sake of uh, just, you know, continuity, this level didn't happen. This level didn't happen. Got it. I am no longer asking. Let's just go straight to the time rift. And now I can explain time rifts while we're on the way there to the time rift. Now, time rifts. They are special little extra levels that can be done optionally. Primarily optionally. Give you more, uh, give you more time pieces, whatnot, yada yada. There she is. Give me one second. I want to be an, I want to be a jerk. Oh yeah, he gone. Except, tells you Time riffs. There are little extra pieces. Of platforming goodness which is very reminiscent of um, Super Mario Sunshine almost the visions where you don't have flood and you have to work entirely on your platforming prowess without the aid of a uh, of uh, your machine buddy flood these feel like honest to goodness just Tests of pure platforming skill, which I normally am not that big of a fan of, because uh, platforming it, it can be tricky. I, I guess I, I guess I could say I'm pretty alright with it, but you ask me to do anything like Kaizo or something, and uh, oof, that it's not for me. Pin perfect, no go. But this this feels right at home as a good median. You go into a little extra dimension outside of the outside of time outside of everything else and just do a little platforming challenge where all you gotta do is reach the end simple as that get cool music get interesting graphics of uh almost feels like neverland but here we are and we're one timepiece richer And already we're showing off another thing. This is the treasure box. All you gotta do is click. And we have options ahead of us. We can either choose a new color palette for our current outfit or re-roll. You can re-roll up to three times. This can also be done manually in our base if you have enough rift tokens. I say re-roll because uh... Basic white, 
No. Ba boom. One more shot. We, we literally take this regardless. So let's hope for a good one. It's the same. Minky fresh. We also have a rare sticker uh, up for the grabs. We have still yet to find one of these yet. Then again, one can debate I'm not necessarily looking. Now am I? Oh dear God, what has happened to us? Well, this is paint. Uh, it definitely feels like a little kid right now because uh, I got into the paints and looks. Ugh. Let's just stick to our default color. I love here. You can use this to select your colors and whatnot. Yeah, but uh, I guess we have enough to stitch a new hat. Couldn't come at a better time considering we could always use uh, some other flair to make us look cooler. Here we have a brewing hat. A la witches of ye olden days. We have a hat that we can use basically for chemist's power and make explosives. And here we have this. This is what I was talking about previously. 20 seconds ago. Uh, we get to re-roll for better stuff. We get a blue. Or we can risk it for the biscuit. I want to risk it for the biscuit. I should not have risked it for the biscuit. This is penance. I'll take it. <laughs> Primarily because I have to. And I have a cuter looking brewing hat. Not only do I have to take it, but I prefer it. <laughs> it looks cute. I swear we came from this place to our room. But whatever. <laughs> Oh yeah, there we go. And with that, we have that done. We don't have enough to unlock that yet, but... I can roughly say... We have a chair. Let's just... Pop. Oh, perfect. We actually did. Come prepared for this. Just enough. Let's explore this a little bit. See what's going on. We have a bunch of musical items. A bookcase. It's also known as a cool word zone. Or a thing you can't even slightly feel yourself. Steven, you'll never find a publisher and all that time you spent with your studies is a time you could use to spend with your kids, depending on where you're from. Okay. Someone really had some pent up aggression on that. This lever does literally nothing but alter how bright the nearby panel is when the power is on. It's stuck on really bright, actually. I can't tell if it says anything, nor do I want to. As it, 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 it's just kind of fine enough as its goofy little self. You have a Christmas fern. You can see outside into our ship a bit. Looking interesting. The main objective at hand. Our radio. This is a bleeding edge of top line audio device. Without it, you wouldn't be able to tune all your favorite radio broadcasts like Acquaintances at the Table, Goodbye from Sunshine Town, or Two brothers and also third additional brother myself. I'm not even gonna begin to comment on how how witty this is. Ah yes, the VGS one, the fastest, most complex supercomputer ever to be built. Boot it up. Yes. Power it on. The word of computing delight awaits you. Greetings, user. 
undefined user. Welcome to your home computing experience. Open application. Fun. Open application. Earth. You have selected the Earth application. Earth, the greatest mystery of our time. Many academics subscribe to the theory that Earth does not exist. Ooh, this theory is supported by the fact that it's really improbable. And it, that's just where science is right now. Giving further credence to this theory is all accounts. Nobody can claim to have ever discovered Earth. There is only record of people supposedly being born there or being told that it's real. Prevailing theory is that Earth is a mass shared hallucination and that we should really just take things slow for a while and calm down to see if it goes away. Closing Earth application. <laughs> okay. Never thought I'd be dealing with existential crises so soon. Games. You have selected text-based internet uh, entertainment application. Open application. You have selected yes. You will choose a game from my immeasurable library of purely non-visual fun. I have selected Corgi Quest 7, the leashes that bind. You are Corgi. Your name is Alan. You must sever the, ma the magical leash holding you to the plane of nastiness. Exits are north, east, and south. Go south. You go south. There is a set of gates south. They are guarded by a, pl a prismatic wolf. Exits are north. Bark. You bark. It's really quite sonorous. A prismatic wolf rapidly shifts between spectrums, invisible and invisible. You are dog. So you are really only see two colors, irregardless. So whatever it... Whatever, I guess. It flees and the gates are now unguarded. It would, it would probably come back if you left, though. Go south. You go through the gates and arrive at a grassy clearing. There is a large canyon here. Exits are north and south. Go south. You pass a small field and arrive at a camp of wandering blacksmith. In a larger field, he enters himself as Barry. Exits are just about every direction. I guess it's a field. Talk, Barry. You talk to Barry. Have I mentioned this earlier, but it is a stretch to describe the noises you make as talking. He offers to make you a weapon and promptly does so. It is a sword for dogs. You have a dog sword now. Look, there is a smaller field behind you, a larger one encircling you, likely, a non likely in a non-threatening manner. There is a camp here, and I checked, so I can say with com confidence, do you think his tent is gray? Barry is here. He also exits also, exits are literally anywhere in a sense, in another sense. You can only go north. Let's talk to Barry again. You talk to Barry. I may have been just early, but he is a stress to blah, blah, blah. Offers to make you a weapon. You have a, you have a dog sword. Let's go to the gates. Let's jump. You try to jump the canyon. It's possible you didn't know how big canyons were. Maybe that wasn't appropriately described. No. I ain't doing that again. Uh. Uh. Bunnies. Searching. Zero results found for bunnies. Your search history has been submitted for federal review. Damn it! <laughs> I think we're done now. If I wasted enough time, probably. Uh, just go through this. Finally, see what this is about. We have an art room full of very wicked art that is just impressive. That I like very much. Here we see either an old 
hat kid or a very uncomfortable hat kid doing the sketch of man picture. Here we have lots of famous art done very interestingly of spooky person. Hat. Sis. Und pants on perpetui. I butchered that horrendously. It's a lot of wacky art that I like a lot. Especially this one. I'm also a fan of just Hadalisa. That's wicked. I adore that. Just throwing one last quick little uh, time rip. Probably end it off with this. Platforming challenge. But, but. Is you up? I'm getting a tempo. I'm blowing. I was about to ask myself, what if you didn't have, what if you didn't have the, uh, the brewing hat? And then I thought about it. It has a check to see if you have the brewing, the brewing hat. You have to be able to explode the things that get in here. Touche, game. Touche. Oh, jeez. See what I mean about me not being that good at platforming? Oh, and I could have just actually gotten that too. Well, the good thing about platforming on this in this game is that uh, when you eventually do fall, you don't have to worry much about uh, losing a life entirely. You just lose a bit of your health. Which is marginally better than having to restart the whole thing over again. Also... Checkpoints are very clearly the lamp lights you see. So, you can be a bit more confident when you jump or make jumps. Because uh, if you see a lamp light, there we have a new enemy. Spoopy spiders. I don't know if that's their name particular, but they're spiders. Spiders that can be doubled as platforming. You can already see, we're almost done. Come on. There we go. Correction, we are done. Now we have six time pieces in our bank. And we get another chance of gambling. Ooh, we get a cute little bow. Gamble. <laughs> Get it? Okay. I, I, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'll take the message. <laughs> We're still being beckoned by that. Hourglass, uh, that hourglass. <laughs> We're still being beckoned by the telescope, but that seems to be about it. We all the time we have for now. I'm probably way over time, but still. Next time on A Hat in Time, we'll be seeing what this part of this world has in store for us. For lack of a better outro, I'll see you guys then. Later.